Welcome to the Idiot's Guide. I'm Mackie Hall. All right, here's a brief add-on to our envelope distort make with mesh and make with top objects tutorials. This covers using make with mesh to compensate for make with top object shortcomings when it comes to distorting type into simple objects. Check it out, there's a new tool covered, and it's the anchor point tool. And it's one worth knowing. All right, let's get started. What about using envelope distort make with mesh? to write stop into an octagon. First thing we'll do is place stop inside the octagon. The next thing we'll do is we'll create outlines by right clicking on our text and selecting create outlines. Next thing we'll do is we'll size up our shape by clicking on the top right of our shape, holding our shift key and dragging up and out. Shift key again keeps the shape proportionate. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to the top center of our shape. We'll click and drag up until our shape occupies the entire vertical area of our shape. Next, we'll select Object, Envelope, Distort, Make with Mesh, or Alt Control M. Again, we'll have two rows and four columns matching the number of letters we've got. Once we're done with that, let's grab our direct select tool and we'll click and drag over our second mesh point, just like that. Next thing we'll do is we'll arrow over until our mesh points are directly beneath the anchor points of the octagon. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Once we're done with that, we'll deselect, click anywhere off our shape. And this time we'll click and drag over the top center anchor points of our mesh. We'll then arrow up. Then we'll do the same thing to the bottom of our shape. Again, clicking and dragging over the bottom center anchor points of our mesh. We'll zoom into our piece. Once we're done with that, just to keep our shape working just right, what we're going to do is we are going to grab our anchor point tool. Once there, we'll click on our top left anchor point. We'll click on that. And the anchor point tool, it's a new tool. We haven't used it before. It allows us to move each anchor point independently of the rest of the shape or anchor points. So we'll click on that. We'll hold our shift key. So we're moving our anchor point in 45 degree increments and then work our way around the shape. Next thing we'll do is we'll grab our select tool, deselect our shape, click on our octagon, delete, zoom out, not only can you see the difference, but we are done. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, throw me a like. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that too. We will see you next time. See you.